Okay, so boys and girls, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on comprehension when we read a story. Who can tell me or guess, what does comprehension mean? Let's take a guess at what comprehension means. Yes, Nathan. Telling about the story, very good. It means that we understand the story and we can talk about it, okay? So what I want to go over first before we read our story, boys and girls, are who, what, when, where, why, and how questions. Who can give me an example of a who question? A who question. Shiloh? Who is your sister? Very good. What does who refer to? Does, is who a, um, an idea? No. no. Who is a question. question? It is a question, but what does who refer to? Latea? Who is like who I am or something? So don't use the don't try not to use the word. What does who mean? What does who refer to? Yes, in? It make, it takes uh, it's a shorter word for a person or a character. Yeah, it we it's the word that we use when we're asking about a person or a character in a story. Thank you very much. All right, now give me an example of a where question. A where question, Michaela. Where are you? Where are you? What does where refer to? What does where refer to? Someone new. Someone new. Darius. So try not to use the word, Noah. Um, you're somewhere. I'm somewhere, it's my location, right? Where am I? I'm in a classroom. Very good, okay? So we have who, we have where. What about when? Give me an example of a when question. Avelina? When are you going to the market? When am I going to the market? Very good. What does when refer to? When I'm asking a when question, such as when am I going to the market, what does that mean, Roman? Well, where are you then though? Close, but not really. Uh, Tayan? When are you going to the mall? So try not to use the word, when. If I'm saying when am I going somewhere, that means, Gio? It's like the time that you're going. The time that I'm going, very good. It refers to time. When am I going to the market? I'm going to the market at 9 a.m. in the morning, okay? Wow. All right, let's do what? Give me a what question, a what question. Tyson? What is that? What is that? What is that over there? What does what mean? What What does what mean? Darius? Okay, leave it alone. Don't worry about yourself, please. Dylan, what does what mean? Um, outside. Okay. Yes, and? And like, um, what means that it takes, like, like if you go, what was like, you, it's like you take some, and like, you don't know what it is. Okay. So I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you some hints. I know what it is. What? Dylan. Um. It's like, if you see something and you don't know what it is. Yeah, it's something. It Usually it's like a physical object. What is this? This is a chair. What is that? That is a table, okay? So it usually refers to an object or maybe an idea that you have in your head. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about going to the movies this afternoon. I'm thinking of an idea. It can be something in your head or it can be something that you can see, touch, feel. Use all your five senses, okay? All right, why? Why, what is, what's the question for why? Damari, what's the question for why? I forgot. Roman? Why are you gonna do that? Why are you going to do that? When I ask a why question, what, what information am I trying to get from someone, boys and girls? Uh, Yezin? It means what are you doing? Not necessarily what am I doing, why, why wh are you doing? So let me give you another example. Why do I go to the doctor? Why do I go to the doctor? What, what am I searching for? What am I searching for, Nathan? Why are you doing 
So let me give you a hint. It's a, a reason. Oh. How many of you have ever heard of that word, a reason? Oh, me. There's a reason why we do the things that we do, okay? Let's go back to my question that I asked. Why do I go to the doctor? Oh, I go to the doctor because I want to make sure that I'm healthy. When you ask a why question, Brandon, when you ask a why question, you want to know the reason for something, okay? And now we have our last one, how. How do you tie your shoe? How do you tie your shoe? When you're asking a how question, what information do you want to know? When you ask a how question, what information do you want to know, Mia? Your hand was up, sweetie. Roman? How do you do it? Yeah, so you want to know, that one's a little bit tricky, huh? You kind of have to use how in the sentence, right? How, you want to see what you do in order to do it. How do you bake a cake? I mix eggs and flour and butter together and then I put it in the oven, okay? They're actions. You want to describe the actions that you take in order to do something, all right? So now, boys and girls, let's look at one of our questions. So who can come up with a question for me using any of these? Any of these? Damari, any of these ones? Shiloh? What is your favorite ice cream? What is your favorite ice cream? my question what is your favorite ice cream okay now boys and girls when we want to speak in academic academic language we need to answer the full question we need to answer the question in a complete sentence okay and we use good readers good speakers they use a flip it they use a flip it mechanism okay we flip part of the question to answer to provide our answer, okay? So, Nathan, how would I answer this in a, in a complete sentence? Who has an idea? Who has an idea? Michaela? So I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite ice cream, Michaela? Okay, remember we need to answer in a complete sentence. Avelina? My favorite ice cream is mint chip. Very good. Me too. My favorite ice cream is mint chip. Okay? So, we use a flip it mechanism. What part of my question do I need to put in my answer? What part of my question do I need to put in my answer, Yesen? Uh, you need to put um, a question in the answer. I need to put a question in the answer. So do I put what in my answer? No. No. Yeah, no. no. I need to put this part in my answer, right? Yes, yeah. Just like I put it in here. What is your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is, you see how we flipped, boys and girls? We flipped your favorite ice cream first, and then we put is, okay? This is something that we naturally do, right? But do we ever think about what we do sometimes? Sometimes we don't think about it, but when you're answering questions for school, or let's say you're writing something, you always want to use part of your question in your answer, okay? So let's just practice, let's just practice speaking, okay? Let's just practice speaking. Bashar and Michaela, can you switch please? Okay, I'm gonna do when. When is your birthday? 
When is your birthday? My birthday is fourth. And remember, we need to answer it in a complete sentence. Dylan, when is your birthday? Uh, November 10th. Oh, a complete sentence, please. When is your birthday? No, I want you to answer it. When is your birthday? How? Yes. When is your birthday? November 10th. Okay, complete sentence. Complete. My, my birthday is November 10th. Thank you. You see how he used part of the question in his answer, but he had to flip, he had to flip some of the verbs there. Okay, let's do one more. Um, what is your last name? What is your last name? Liliana. Thank you. What is your last name? My name is Ledesma. Very good. Do you also see boys and girls? If I ask a question using your, do I ask, and someone else is answering it, and I'm asking that person, do they answer with your? No. No, they answer with my. When is your birthday? My birthday is in September. You also switch who you're referring to. You also switch who you're referring to, okay? All right, so now what I wanna do, boys and girls, is we're going to read a story together. Do you have a question? Excuse me? Okay, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? Okay, if you need, if you need someone else to move, what do you need to do? You need to ask them to move, please. You need to ask them to move, please. Who do you think might have a little bit of room? Put your hand down. Who might have a little bit of room to give? Okay, let's problem solve. Latea or Gio? Who can move a little bit to help you make space? Okay. Okay, what do you need to say to Latea? Turn your book around like Mrs. Lambert has already asked you to do. Scoot it a little bit forward and scoot your bottom a little bit forward. Okay, all right, that should be okay, Nita. Sit on your bottom, crisscross applesauce. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, now what we're gonna do is we're going to read a story, okay? We're going to read a story and while we're reading the story, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Who, where, when, what, why, how, okay? And we're going to practice answering them in the complete sentence. Remember, we use part of our question in our answer, all right? Please turn to page 60, page 60. Can you help Tyson, please? Latea, please help Darius find the page. Okay, as soon as you get to the page, stop turning the page, hold it nicely in your lap, show me that you're ready. Okay, 
So, boys and girls, we're going to read a story called Not Norman, a goldfish story by Kelly Bennett, illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. So in a book, boys and girls, when it says after the title, by a person, what does that mean? What does that person's name mean? Nathan? illustrator or author of the story. Okay, very good. So when it says Not Norman, a goldfish story by Kelly Bennett, what does that mean? Who wrote the story? Kelly Bennett. Can you speak it in a complete sentence? The person who wrote the story is Kelly Bennett. Thank you very much. All right. Who illustrated the story or who did the pictures for the story? Liliana? Noah. Okay, so the full name, and remember, do it in a complete sentence. So, who illustrated the story, Liliana? Noah Z. Jones. Noah Z. Jones. Finish the sentence. Illustrated the story. Illustrated the story. Very good. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do, boys and girls, is I'll take turns reading, and you will take turns reading, too, okay? Who would like, so turn to the next page, please. Turn to the next page, 62. Okay, who would like to read first for me? Who would like to read first? Gio, you may read first, loud and proud. Everyone else, you're following along with your finger. Okay, Gio, when you're ready. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet. I wanted a pet. Oh, hang on. Not Norman. Not Norman. You see, I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. Different. Isn't that one of your vocabulary words? Yeah. What does different mean? Raising a quiet hand, Avelina. It's not the same. It's not the same. Different means it is not the same. Very good. What kind of uh, pet is Norman? A goldfish. Oh, raising a quiet hand for a complete sentence. Dylan. A goldfish. In a complete sentence. What is Norman? Norman is a goldfish. Very good. All right. All right. Who would like to read that? Avelina. I wanted a pet who could run and catch. I wanted a Thank you. What kind of a pet can run and catch? What kind of a pet can run and catch? Let's say in a complete sentence. A dog can catch. Very good. A dog can run and catch. What kind of a pet can climb trees and chase strings? Angie. Very good, thank you for the complete sentence. All right, can, so everyone, can a dog or a cat sleep on your bed at night? Yeah. Yes, it can, very good. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. All right, who would like to read next? Boys and, and I'm going to remind you, boys and girls, there should not be any talking between readings. There should not be any talking between turning the pages of the story. It interrupts the flow. It interrupts the story. And I have to bring us back. Okay? All right. Who would like to read next? Uh, Shiloh, loud and proud, please. This is, this is it, Norman. I decided I'm training you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move, not even a thing twitches. Very good. Oh, look, another vocabulary word. Decide. Decide. What does decide mean? Raising a quiet hand. Complete sentence, Gio. It means um, you make up your mind. You make up your mind. What? So, and another question, boys and girls. The little boy who's telling the story, does he say his name? Yeah. No. So when we talk about the little boy, we'll just refer to him as the little boy. Okay? So the little boy, he makes up his mind. He decides. He decides. What is what does he decide? 
Yes, and he wants to trip. Oh, hang on. In a complete sentence, what does he decide? He decides, the little boy decides that he wants to treat the trade Norman. Very for good. A for a different pet, he wants to trade Norman in for a different pet. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. Trade, oh look, another word, trade. What does that mean? If I want to trade something, what am I gonna do? Angie? Yeah, you're going to switch something. So let's say Mr. Andrew and I, I'm going to trade chores with him. If I do his laundry, he will wash my car. We're trading chores, okay? Why? Oh look, another question. Why? Why does the little boy think he can't trade Norman just yet? Why does he think he can't trade Norman just yet? Jamari? So in a complete sentence, the little boy can't trade Norman. So in gunky, dirty. yeah, it's dirty, it's gunky. So it's, it doesn't look very nice, okay? All right, who would like to read next? <laughs> Dylan, loud and proud, please. When I drop Nolan into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. It looks so goofy, I have to laugh. Very good. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. Why does the little boy laugh at Norman? Why does the little boy laugh at Norman? Tyson, go to the page that we're at. Why does the little boy laugh at Norman? Adelina? Remember, a like, full sentence. The little boy laughs because he's very, very goofy. Yeah, the fish, Norman, is very, very goofy. What is he doing? What is the fish doing? What is Norman doing, Nathan? He's playing inside his fishbowl. He's playing inside his fishbowl. He's dipping and flipping and flapping around. Very good. Turn the page, please. Who would like to read next? The shark, loud and proud, buddy. The next day, I take Norman to the school with me. If I tell him up, we'll be very dull in the town. Maybe someone will love him. Very good. What is happening at school that day? What is happening at school that day? Roman. Tom and Tom. Can you use it in a complete sentence? Today is show and tell. Today it is show and tell. Very good. Thank you. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap what? one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman? asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. What happened to Norman's water? What happens to Norman's water? Darius, in a complete sentence. The puppies drunk, drank Norman's water. Very good. And the little boy had to save him. All right, turn the page, please. Who would like to read next? Very 
good. And thank you for using an incomplete sentence. Stares means that you looks at someone or something for a long time. So let's say I stare at that Jackson sign over there for two minutes. Another time we can try and see if we can stare at it for two minutes, but I look at it for a long time. All right, coming back to the carpet, please turn around. Turn around and look at me. Thank you. Who would like to read next? Mia, read the next paragraph, please. Finally. Loudly, please. talking. You say that you can't hear, but then you go on talking. Is that smart to do? No. If you can't hear, it's probably because your lips are moving when they're not supposed to be. Okay. When it's, no when it's Norman and the little boy's turn for show and tell, a girl, em Emily, says, Jenny's gone. Who let my snake loose? All right, let's figure out what happens next. Turn the page, please. Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No, they're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman, he's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. So why, why was everyone in the classroom jumping and screaming? Why was everyone in the classroom jumping and screaming? In a complete sentence. Everyone in the classroom. A snake is loose. Very good. And was there attention on Norman and the little boy? No. No. But look at the page on the right, on the right side, over here. How does the little boy look? How does the little boy look? When he's looking at Norman, when he's looking at Norman and Norman's looking at the little boy, how do they look, Bashar? Happy. They look happy. And why do you think that, why, why is the little boy happy? Why is the little boy happy, Bashar? In a complete sentence, please. The little boy is happy. Yeah, because Norman is listening to him when everybody else is screaming and jumping because there's a snake in the room. Norman is looking right at the little boy. Okay. Do you ever feel that way, boys and girls, when a lot of stuff is going on, but then you have a friend or maybe your mom and dad, and they don't care about what's happening. They're only looking at you. They only want to know what's going on with you. Have any of you ever felt that? Does that make you feel happy? Yeah. Does that make you feel special, like you matter, like you're important? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. All right, let's turn the page, please. Okay. Who would like to read next? Who would like to read next? What is the little boy planning to do after the music lesson is over? What is the little boy planning to do after the music lesson is over? Yes, and he's planning to get a new plan and put Norman back in the pet store where he got him. Very good. And what instrument does the little boy play? What instrument does the little boy play? Darius in the complete sentence. A tuba, he plays a tuba. And look, there's a picture. Is the little boy's instrument big or small? Big. It's big, a tuba is a very big instrument. I glance over at Norman. He's swaying back and forth. Glug, 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 he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, says snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. All right, we came in, in contact with two other vocab terms, glance. What does glance mean? 
What is glancing? Yes, and look at it. Oh, look in a complete sentence. Uh, it means that you look at it for like a second and then don't look. Yeah, so compared to stairs, you just look at something very quickly, okay? I glanced out of the corner of my eye and I saw Mr. Andrew, and I saw Mr. Andrew running towards me. I looked right over my shoulder real fast and I saw someone coming towards me. Very good. All right, and we came across another word that you might not be familiar with, boys and girls. What? Maestro. 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 What do you think maestro means? Maestro. Nathan? Someone's name. Someone's name. It could be someone's name, but um, but it, it's not. You're close though. Good guess. What do you think, Liliana? It is a teacher. Yeah, it's a teacher of music. Very good. So Maestro is the little boys, boys and girls. Maestro is the little boys music teacher. All right, and our second vocab word on that page, proper. What does proper mean? What does proper mean? Gio, what does proper mean? It means you're um, doing something correctly. You're doing something correctly. Very good. A proper way to sit is with your back straight up, your hands in your lap, and you're looking at who's ever talking. Um, sit down on your bottom, crisscross applesauce. Okay. All right. Who would like to read the next page? Yes. Maestro? Maestro makes me stay for explaining. For extra? Extra. extra practice. Practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you don't like you like my music? You like my music. I'm going to keep you. I tell Norman. He gloves. He gloves. Very good. So after music, uh, after the music practice, was the little boy able to go to the pet store? No. no. No, he wasn't. It got too late. All right. Turn the page, please. That night. Turn to the proper page. That night, I'm sound asleep when screech, scritch. What's that noise? Scratch, scritch, screech. Yikes, there's something out the window. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. What does Norman wave at the little boy with? What does he wave at the little boy with? You're gonna, so it doesn't say, but he's a fish, so what does he wave with? What does he wave with? Damari? Tail. With his tail. Okay. In a complete sentence, what does he, he wave with? He waves with his tail. He can wave with his tail or he oh, can wave with his fin. fin. Very good. So, so as we're reading the story, boys and girls, how do you think the little boy is starting to feel about Norman? Do you think he's liking him more or that he's not liking him? Bashar? He's liking him more. What are some of the things that Norman does that makes the little boy like him more? What are some of the things that Norman has been doing that makes him like him a bit more? Avelina? He's been watching out for him. He's been watching out for him. Very good. What are some of the other things that he's been doing? What are some of the other things that he's been doing? Yes, I'm trying to uh, not let the little boy uh, uh, get a different pet. Yeah, that could be it, but but what explicitly, what specifically, specifically has he been doing? So, like Avelina said, he's been watching over him, watching out for him. When everyone in the classroom got scared of the snake, what did Norman do? Michaela? 
Yeah, Norman was listening to the little boy. His attention was only on the little boy, so he would pay attention to the little boy. Very good. Um, what else did Nor What else has Norman made the little boy do that made him super happy, Nathan? What did Norman do when uh, the little boy was cleaning his uh, cleaning his bowl? Was, was, uh, trying to, to play him. Yeah, he was playing. And what did the little boy do when he was playing playing around? He, he, important to make him feel good. All right, next page, please. Who would like to read next? Dylan. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and boards. I look at the hamsters and my and midget, too. They look all, they look they like all, all the pets, but they're not Norman. But they are not when I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him, not Norman. So what happens at the very end of the story, boys and girls? What happens at the end of the story? Avelina, in a complete sentence, please. The little boy keeps Norman. The little boy keeps Norman. So do you think that after Darius, Facing forward, Tyson, that means you too. So do you think, boys and girls, that after all the things that Norman did for the little boy that made him decide to keep him? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you have a pet, boys and girls, it's important how that pet makes you feel, right? Yeah, yeah. So if the pet makes you laugh, if the pet pays attention to you and makes you feel special, do you think that's a good pet to have? Yes. I think so. All right. So now, boys and girls, we're going to do a little rotation activity, okay? And I need you to pay attention. I need you to pay attention up here, okay? So around the room, around the room, I have six stations and there's six questions. They're the who, what, when, where, why questions that we've been dealing with, okay? There's a total of six questions. I'm going to put you into groups of three or four. And you're, you and your group mates are going to help each other to fill out the different questions, okay? And the way the questions work, if you can see them, do you see that the questions are numbered, boys and girls? Yeah. The questions are numbered. So, and the different questions at the different stations are numbered as well, Latea. So that means that you're going to match the number of the question that you have with the answer on this paper. I've made it a little bit easier for you, boys and girls. I've given the start of your sentence. Because remember, when we answer questions, they need to be in complete sentences. So I've given you hints about how to start your question, okay? We're going to rotate about two or three times. You're not gonna fill out this whole paper. You're going to match the number of your answer to the number of your question that's on your station, okay? Everyone gets their own paper. That means everyone is writing down their own answers. You can help each other out. This is also an opportunity for you to work together, okay? This is an opportunity for you to work together to help each other to answer our questions, all right? And with that in mind, let's talk about how we have good conversations with our classmates, okay? When we're in a group and we're discussing something, do we try and talk over each other? No. No. We take turns. We take turns talking, okay? 
when we're moving to our other stations, are we running to our no. next station? No. no, we are not. We're taking our time. We are walking. If we accidentally bump into someone, what do we say? Sorry. We can say sorry. Or if we need to get around someone, what do we say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Do we touch each other? No. No. We keep our hands to ourselves. Okay? So I want you to remember that. You're working with your group. You're taking turns to answer the question. You're helping each other. You're keeping your hands to yourself and you are calmly walking around the classroom when you are changing stations, okay? Yeah. All right, let me get my list please because I've already put you into groups. Okay, so when you hear your name called, you're going to walk over to the number that you see. Oh, and another thing, boys and girls, you're going to be sitting in someone else's seat probably and not your own when you're rotating. Do you go through their stuff in their desk? No. No. Your hands do not go into their desk. You do not go on other people's stuff. Okay? Because I wouldn't you wouldn't feel very good if someone else went through your stuff, would you? No. No, so you need to treat other people the way you want to be treated. Alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Group number one at the front corner, I have Avelina, Damari, and Lily. So go to number one, go to the number one listed over there. Do not touch the paper, just wait patiently over there. Oh, so take your book with you, okay? Take your book with you. Okay, group number two, I have Angie, Latea, Yezin, and Tyann. You're at the front, at the front middle, please walk. Okay, group number three, you're at the front on the side over there. I have Ava, Liliana, Roman, and Nathan. Walking, walk to your seat. Number four, I have Mia, Shiloh, Tyson, and Bashar. You're right here at number four, please. Walk, now. Group number five, I have Giovanni, Darius, and Noah right here at this group. Right here at this group. Okay, and lastly, I have Dylan, Brandon, and Michaela over here at this group. 